Hey everybody, welcome. Today we're going to talk about sexuality and our brain. I've been reading this book, Come About Come As You Are by Emily Nagowski. And we're going to talk today about our unconscious mind and the garden. So relating the work that I do with the work that she does and how what you've learned really influences who you are. But first, the show reel. <laughs> Now imagine this, you have been given a plot of land. It's beautiful, rich, fertile soil, and it's a little bit different than everybody else's. And as you go through, you get to decide what gets planted in your garden. Do you want tomatoes? Do you want peppers? Do you want something more exotic? Do you want something really simple like spring greens? Do you want herbs? What do you want in that garden? And imagine that you get to grow the exact perfect garden for you. Now, here's the problem that we see. When we're growing up, ideas in our culture, ideas in our religious spheres, ideas that our parents have, what we observe, what we learn in school, all of these things actually plant different things in our garden that we may or may not want there. The garden I'm referring to, of course, is the unconscious mind. And what is the unconscious mind? It's the part of you that drives somewhere and you get there safely and you don't remember how you got there. It's also the part of you that tries to drive home when you're trying to go to the store and you get to home and go, but I was on my way to the store. How did I get home? That is also the unconscious mind. So if we take this analogy of the garden of our unconscious mind and say, what got planted there when we were young? What images about my body? What images about what is right and wrong in sex, sexuality, and relationships? How can I get attention? How do I feel loved? What do I believe about myself? What do I believe about what things should look like or who I should be or how I should step in. And maybe you've been taught really healthy things about this, or maybe there's some things that you want to change. Like, for example, when we're wrapping this into sexuality, what do you believe about how fast you should or shouldn't orgasm? about how or when you should have, oh, there's my thumbs up, how or when you should, um, that totally distracted me, how or when you should enjoy pleasure. What does sexuality actually look like? In other words, is your desire supposed to be spontaneous or can it grow over time and with nurturance throughout a day or throughout an intimacy experience with the partner that you're choosing at the moment. So maybe you were taught really healthy things. Maybe some of these things you want to change. Our job now is to uproot things that we feel are toxic, that aren't serving us in our life, in our self-esteem, and in our relationships. And we get to replace it with healthier ideas, healthier boundaries, healthier beliefs about ourselves, our sexuality, and our level of physical connection and emotional connection and all the types of connections that we can have in relationship. And when we choose what we believe about ourselves, when we choose how to allow and tune into our body to be part of our guide, when we allow ourselves to take the steps to work through old traumas as uncomfortable and crappy as that can be sometimes, when we reach the other side, we have more freedom, more understanding about us. We can communicate more clearly to our partner. And then things tend to get more connected. We get to make choices. We get to release anger. We get to decide what does our garden look like? And maybe for a week, for two weeks, for a couple of months, you're just gonna tear up your whole garden and everything's gonna be a hot mess and that's okay. And then you get to rebuild it as what you want. Or maybe you're looking at your garden, your unconscious mind, your beliefs around yourself and your sexuality, and you're like, I don't know what belongs in here and what doesn't. And that's okay. We get to explore this too. There are more videos about this subject, even in more detail. When you go to my site 
and purchase the Sexuality and Intimacy Community Membership. You can see summaries of all the chapters of this book, how to start tuning into your sexuality and see if this is right for you now. So for my current clients or for people watching this, I want you to start writing down what are the things that you want in your garden? What do you want to believe about your body, about yourself, about what sex gets to look like for you or any kind of physical intimacy, even if it's not sex? How do you want communication around it to be? And what no longer serves you? What did you learn that you're ready to get let go of? Because then we can do some tapping. We can do some hypnosis tracks. We can do things that help you move through that in an empowering and playful way. Until then, you are loved, you are loving, and you are lovable.